guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jennifer. Today what I'm going to do is a quick empties video. I don't have as many this month, but or this episode, installment, whatever, but I just wanted to go ahead and share them with you, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first up, what I'm going to start off with is um, my skincare items. So, um, as you guys know, I did a full review on the e.l.f. skincare. Well, I did use up all three of these. The Illuminating Eye Cream was the first thing that I used up. Um, this one, like I said in the video, does have just bulky packaging for what's in it. So, you know, just sticking my finger in there, that's about as much as that's in there. But I did go ahead and use that up. Would I repurchase it? No, just basically because of the packaging. This just takes up too much space in my uh, bathroom for an eye cream, but it's a decent eye cream. So if they changed up the packaging, I would consider purchasing it again. The next item that I did use up is the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. This I really liked. It's a nice every day. It doesn't strip your face. Um, it leaves it feeling still hydrated. It doesn't make it feel tight after you use it. It just keeps your skin balanced and it's just a good daily cleanser. So I would absolutely repurchase this. The last item that I used up in that group, which I just finished um, pretty pretty recently, is the Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This I love. Again, I'd absolutely repurchase it. It's a nice everyday moisturizer. The only like downside, I would say, is that it doesn't have an SPF in it, which I think is strange for a daily moisturizer. And um, the bottle itself is kind of tippy. So if you do have it sitting up, because that's the best way, because um, it's got one of those, like, it's not a pump, well it's a pump, but the tube in the pump only goes to like here, so you have to have it up so like all the lotion is down at the bottom. But anyway, I used this up, it's pretty good for the price and again, I would absolutely repurchase this. Going along with skincare, sorry there's not any makeup items in this empties. Uh, this one is not an empty, it's a Say Yes to Blueberries Intensive Skin Repair Serum. This has just gone bad. It's expired. I got it on a clearance and I didn't get to use it up before it, it, it expired. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to toss this. If it still smelled good, I would possibly use it, but it doesn't. It definitely, yeah, it definitely smells like it's bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss this guy. The next one was a little sample and I believe this was from, oh, no, I can't think of it. Everything came off up here. It was like an eye cream. I got it in a Sephora sample, like a free gift with purchase, maybe from Ulta. Can't remember the brand. Dermalogica? No. Algenist. Algenist. I don't know exactly what kind it was because all the writing has wore off, but I used up that little sample. Then I used up another one of the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. This I do love. I think they've discontinued it. I've not found it on another sale, but um, yeah, kind of sad. But the next item that I used up is this sample of the Derma E Hydrating Serum. This I loved and I've actually already purchased the full size. So this is the serum that I'm using now instead of the L'Oreal one. I really love it. It feels really hydrating on the skin. Uh, it almost feels like a moisturizer in itself, but it does leave a little bit of a tack to the skin. So I love this and like I said, I've already gotten the full size. The next item that I got was another sample. It is by number four must be um, just their brand name. It's high performance hair care. It's the Lumiere de Hiver. Not sure if I'm saying that. Super comb prep and protect. So it's like a detangler. I don't really have too many thoughts on this. I did use it. I don't think it works any better or any like worse than the detangler that I use that's my daughter's. So I would not purchase this, but I did use up the sample. Staying in line with that, um, we always use this. I use on my daughter's hair and I use on myself, different scents and things like that, but it is from Circle of Friends. It's the Detangler. Um, it is a salon exclusive product, so you'd have to find a beauty salon that carries it in your area, but this flavor was in raspberry and we used up this Detangler. We already have another one and are using that one. Sticking with hair care, the next item that I have is a Kenra nourishing mask. I did use this up. You get quite a bit, but it is kind of expensive. I oh, I love the smell on this. It smells like, kind of smells like candy, but perfume at the same time. I don't know. I really like it. It does a really good job at hydrating your, your hair, moisturizing it, and there's just like 
moisturizes all the tangles right out of it. You use it in your hair, like I like to put it on, like if I have to shave or something like that, and then rinse it out, and it's just like, and it's so silky smooth, like it just, it's amazing. So I would repurchase it. I don't have it right now because um, I do have a different mask that I'm using, but I did like this. Another Kenra product, which is the Blow Dry Mist. I've talked about this in one of my favorites before. I do really love this product. I would probably purchase it again when I go to the salon store um, because it's just something nice to spritz in your hair. I usually let my hair air dry most, most of the way and then I blow dry it, but I spray this in right away and then it just helps um, speed up the drying process of your hair. So even if you didn't want to get Kenra, there's many brands that make this kind of spray, but I love this one. And again, uh, it just smells like cotton candy or something. Bubble gum, their products smell amazing. So this one is not an empty, but this product is terrible. So I'm getting rid of it. It's the Kenra, it's out of their platinum line, just like the blow dry spray. It's their texture spray. It's supposed to do texture and defining spray. Um, theirs are all labeled by like hold factor. So this hold factor is like a six. Um, the blow dry mist doesn't even have a hold factor on it. Like their hairsprays, I believe, are like a 20. This I was thinking was going to be more of like a dry shampoo with something a little extra in it, but it's totally not. I, I got one for my mom too, and we both just think this is a terrible product. It makes your hair almost feel dirty, like greasy and sticky, and doesn't even hold it in place like a hairspray would. It's just weird. It leaves like a weird tack to your to your hair. Now I guess you could use it like if you were gonna do like a updo, something like that, where you need to get that slip out of your hair and it and it doesn't, you know, you don't want it to be so silky. This would definitely do it, but I don't really have much use for that anymore. Especially in my everyday, I usually wear my hair down. So this was a no-go. I'm going to go ahead and um, pass that on or donate it to somebody else who can use it because mommy ain't going to use it. I got one body wash from Bath & Body Works. This is all the Bath & Body Works stuff that I currently have. This was the white tea and ginger. I really liked this scent. I would absolutely repurchase this one. Um, I don't... Yeah, it smells real good. I don't typically purchase... Bath and Body Works body shower gel and stuff like that just because um, I don't have one close to me and I'm kind of a cheapskate so unless it's on a sale I, I don't want to pay you know six dollars or whatever they charge for one of these if it's not on a sale so but I did get these on a clearance and I liked it and I liked the scent so I used it up. Next item is a little sample it's by now I'm not sure if I'm saying this right um Juara or yeah, it's J-U-A-R-A. It was the Coconut Elipe Hand and Nail Balm. So it hydrates and conditions hands, nails, and cuticles. It was a decent product. This was a super small sample size, so I didn't get a real good feel for the product. Um, it didn't intrigue me enough to think that I would want to purchase it, but um, it was okay. It was okay. And it, the smell wasn't even that great. Like... I'm not a real big fan of like coconut or like overly vanilla stuff, so me and my daughter used it up. Just got some shampoo conditioner samples. I've shown these before. It is by Semi Deloney. It's uh, their diamond brand for normal hair, illuminating shampoo and conditioner. It was okay. I have, I think, a few more sample packs and I will use them. Will I purchase it? Probably not. Then I have a mask, which is the Feeling Beautiful, the Freeman brand. I love these masks. This one I really liked, and if I can find, like, the full size in a bottle, I, I'm going to pick it up, but right now I've only seen these packs. It's their Diamond Mineral Rinse Mask. Um, so you get a couple of uses. I think I got, like, three or four uses out of this, and it's um, it's got a little bit of, like, a polishing agent in it, and it's really strange that after you wash it off, it almost leaves like little specks of glitter on your face, which is fine because I use this before bed. And it's not noticeable the next day or anything like this, but it's supposed to boost brilliance and radiance. Um, so it's for all skin care or all skin types. And I loved it. I'm, I'm going to repurchase this one. Got another mask. This one I really liked as well. It's by Tony Moly. It's the Skin Purifying... Um, Macchioli mask sheet. Uh, I don't know what that means. But um, 
I think it, it did a really good job of just sort of drying the impurities out of my skin and then I did save the leftover serum and use it the next two days. So I think that helps just kind of reinforce what the mask is doing for your skin and I would absolutely repurchase this one. I really loved it. And I think Sephora sells these in a two pack whereas Ulta sells them as a one, like a single sheet. So if you're interested in looking those up or trying them, those are the two places that I've seen it um, online. The next item is just some hand soap. We just use the Method Gel Hand Wash and it's a refill. We have already one of these bottles in the bathroom and this one I don't think, oh, the scent is Sweet Water. I would repurchase this. I love the Method brand. It's, you know, um, got vitamin E and aloe in it, naturally derived, and tricolsan free. So it's just supposed to be really good for you. Ingredients are good, good for the environment, reduce and all that jazz. So yeah, that's that, just some hand soap. So yeah, that's it guys, no makeup this time, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Thanks for taking time out of your day and watching my empties. I hope you enjoyed it again, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.